OpenRPG 0.3 is out, and if the focus for this release was on the map, having characters move around and interact with NPCs, thanks to the contributors, uh, especially to Nicholas and Grezi Sif, but everyone, we've been able to improve the project all round and add quite a few features. We're going to look at how the game changed in this version really briefly, but uh, if you want to see the full change log, you can find the link in the description to open RPG, and there's always the change log file in there, so you can see quite a few new things in here. You can now use touch input or uh, mouse clicks to have characters find the path to their target. And anytime you can switch back to the keyboard or a gamepad and have the characters working that way. Now you have the pawns that represent the character party. So if we were to change the party order, actually I've not tested that, but normally you should control, yeah, see you are controlling Roby now instead of controlling Godet. So based on the party order, you get the characters, the pawns being displayed properly in the game. You also have interactions now you can use raycast, so directions for that, or you can use proximity, so you can press space to interact with them, and you're going to have, for example, dialogues in the game. Dialogues that we're going to use in the next release for the quest system. We also have a system to queue actions on an NPC. So this one's going to play a dialogue, and at the end of the dialogue, it starts an encounter. Uh, this is not completely different from what you'd see in RPG Maker where you have an event system. It's very simple at the moment, obviously, but we can create commands that can add to an NPC. So if I open the local map and I go down to that character here and we go down to the actions, it has first a dialogue action, then start combat. So we can create uh, many of these actions like uh, get a reward or get an item, we could have a play and animation on the character, things like these, and you can queue them as a list here. That is not all, thanks to Grezi Sif. Uh, if I start an encounter, you can see this bit of interface at the top of the screen. You have the turn order in combat, and it will update if a character changes speed or something like that. If I attack one of the monsters, its uh, turn portrait turns grey. So big thanks to him for that. We also have some work from Nicholas. Now if I open the battler, the base scene for all the um, allies and monsters in the game in combat, now we have an AI node in there with a base script that is a, just a base interface, but we can use that to create interesting AI for our monsters. But that is about it for the state of uh, the project in there. It's already grown into a pretty sizable RPG engine. Contributors are more than welcome and more tutorials are going to come. Uh, you have a playlist in the video description on the channel, which has tutorials about creating an RPG and uh, using this project, which you can use as a base to create your own RPG. If you have questions, constructive feedback about the project, or you want to contribute, get involved, you can come on the Go to Open RPG channel in the GDQuest Discord server. You are more than welcome. There again, link in the description. But that said, thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.